This committee is a sham. They do not know what they are doing. They are serving a particular master. Our client is supplying what KEPS allowed him to supply. And that is the right thing. Waenda washike wale waganga wa KEPS. When he gives an explanation, he starts telling us, oh, you are cheating us, you are cheating us, you are lying to us, you are lying to us. Oh, we are going to chase you away. Chase us! Rubbish. Mteja wetu, Joel Karioki, alitua asama ziza kuja katika bunge la taifa leo muendo wa sane. Na katika ile samas, kulikuwa na magizo ya kwamba aweze kupeana stakabadhi zake, reporti zake, na chochote kile ambacho atakitumia katika kujitetea. Aliweza kufanya hivu. Ile email tuliopewa, tukaweza kupeperusha vitu vieti vyote. Tulifika hapa satatu na nusu. Katika bunge la kifahari, ambalo halina ofisi. Nyumba kubwa, ambazo serikali, wakenyo ametoshwa ushuru. Tumekaa pale saa tatu na nusu, paka muendo wa saa karibu saa tano. Tukaambiwa hamna ofisi, wacha watafute ofisi. Kisha tukaletwa kwenye bunge lile la zamani, ofisi namba kuminambili. Tumefika pale, tumeshangaa stakabadhi zetu tulizozitoa hazimu na maswali tuna, tuliuliza hazimu kwa sababu ni njia zao za kuweza kumbandika na kumpati, kumpata dahatia karioki sababu email ya parliament sio email nyingine kama email za watu binafsi email ya bunge Iko sekiwa baada email ya state house. Hakuna document. Imebidi tupige photocopy kisha tuwapatie wale ambao walikuwa ni kamati. Kisha mambo karibu saba ya meenda kinyume na matarajio ya sheria. Jambo la kwanza ilikuwa ni vigumu sana karioki kukubaliwa ku kupata ushauri wa mawakili wake. Hawa hawa ndio waliotengeneza sheria ambayo inaitwa Fair Administrative Act. Ambayo katika kipengele cha 47 cha katiba kinasema kwamba lazima mshtakiwa apewe nafasi ya kusikizwa na mawakili wake wakimshauri. Sisi wenyewe tumeitwa vijana. Guys, mawakili shupavu. Kesho watakapokamatwa, sisi tutawatetea. Leo hii wajifanya wana ile immunity. Lakini ile immunity inje hapa pale mahakamani ndio Nyaberi amesema kwamba sisi tutawangojea tuweze kujua mbivu na mbichi. Tatu Karioki anapewa anaulizwa maswali karibu hamsini kisha naambiwa jib hata awe ni computer hata awe ni mtu ule whisky hawezi pata yale maswali yanayoulizwa na watu karibu kumi na kila moja anajipiga kifua najua ni wanasiasa wakizungumzia zile constituency zao ambazo walijaribu juu chini kwa sababu vyombo vya habari vilikuwa live walijaribu juu chini kuonyesha kwamba wana ma, wao wana imani na wana ni watetezi halisi wa wana wanawapigia kura nde stakabadhi zote jo karioki amezitoa zimetoka NCPP na KEBS hakuna hata mahali moja karioki ana mahabara laboratory ya kufanya utafiti. Utafiti ule umefanywa na asasi ya serikali. Bunge leo linajaribu kuwakinga. Bunge hili leo kamati limejaribu kukinga wale wezi, wale wakora, wale waliomo kwenye KEPS na NSBB. Walikuwa wapi wakati fertilizer gushi ilikuwa inapeano? Leo wajifanya walia zaidi machozi ya mamba.
Kwa hivyo hawa ili bunge limekuwa ni bunge linalokimbia. Kumbuka karaoke aliitwa kwenda senate. Mwanzo anakwenda senate alamis. Kamati ya bunge la taifa inatoa ilani mbio ili waweze kuchukua ile inaitwa prominence. Kama kamati mbili za bunge zina compete kuuliza maswali mtu mmoja ni ubadhirifu wa fedha za serikali ili hali wa Kenya wanalala njaa. Kwa hivyo huyu na vile tulivyosema mabwenyenye matapeli wale ambao ni makatel wameingilia katika bunge wanajaribu kupindua kesi ili ule maskini ule ambaye hana nguvu aweze kulaumiwa kwamba yeye ndiye anauza ile fertilizer gushi sisi tumezimwa hatuwezi zungumza pale ndani tumeleta farmers wako hapa ambao wanatumia ile mbolea ya karioki wamenyimwa nafasi ya kuzungumza hakuna tofauti ya kati ya karioki na waziri linturi waziri linturi na kikundi chake jana walipewa heshima walipewa taadhima walipewa maswali wakibembelezwa wakipapaswa kijana au hai atapokuja anahangaishwa kama mwizi asiyekuwa na haki wa kuwa katika taifa la Kenya sisi mawakili hawa tunawangojea ile ripoti yao inakwenda kwenye mahakama ya taifa hakuna hata mbunge mmoja hapa atasimama kotini ili tuweze kumuuliza maswali ndiposa tulisema na mnajua kwamba bunge na executive wanakuanga wanaandikwa kazi ya kibarua miaka mitano lakini mahakama ni mpaka miaka sabini. kwa hivyo the judiciary is the final destination to save our clans the politicians have taken an oath to cover the bad guys and kill this young man who is a small entrepreneur from even his body you can see they can crush him but we are sure as the defenders of the law the same law that parliament has passed that any travesty on justice any form of behavior that does not guarantee him natural rights of uh, justice we shall challenge palembele jana tulikuwa na huu kijana kule dci tukasema tunakuja bunge tukitoka hapa bado tunamchukua dci mnaona serikali kwa njia zozote zile inajaribu kubadilisha story jana waziri Waziri na timu yake bwembwe zilichezwa eti fertilizer ya huyu inaletwa pale na waziri anaulizwa hii kisha anasema kwamba kamata huyu tangu lini waziri amefanya utafiti tangu lini waziri alifanya research yakasema kwamba ile ni mbolea gushi kwa hivyo ni vitu viko stage managed wana habari wamepeperusa habari zote live chairman anaangalia wikipedia kisha anasema kwamba dietmite kulingana na wikipedia inasema hivi bunge haiwezi tegemea social media to find definition kwa hivyo ni watu waliojitayarisha lakini nimewaambia wa Kenya sisi tuko tayari tutatetea karioki liwe liwalo yeye sio mgeni yeye ni mkenya mzaliwa hapa na ana haki zake za kikatiba ambazo sisi tutasimama in summary it was the greatest disappointment that such a, a chair 
can be entrusted to conduct the proceedings as he conducted. It does not apply better. We have instructions from our client. We are going to do a complaint to the Speaker of the National Assembly. We are also going to do a complaint to the majority whip and all the administration of parliament. But this committee needs to be disbanded. It is a committee that will not help the farmers of this country. It is a committee that is interested on the sitting allowance. And it is a committee that has a motive to cover the real culprits and divert their attention to the innocent young man who is being destroyed. Are they favoring somebody? That is possible. This committee is a sham. They do not know what they are doing. They are serving a particular master. This committee, how did it come about for this particular incident? Why did it come about? Because there was a public outcry from farmers who were complaining that they are not getting fertilizer, but something that has been brought in sacks like soil and sand and everything. This committee starts asking uh, Karaoke who is going to compensate the farmers. How is it his business? How can they ask him about soil that they have not even shown him today? How can they talk to him about farmers that he has not seen? But when he brings farmers physically, who can be seen? They tell them they don't want to listen. Where are those farmers? The farmers are here. They will talk. Want to have and yet, and yet, this chairman, who we thought was competent, and I am sorry to say, I am, when I saw him at first, I thought that he was a very competent chairman. Let me just say that. He opened his mouth to speak. I was disappointed from the word go. He's a disaster. And I hope he's not a chair in any other committee. It's public. They had to sit because of per diem. There was nothing else. They were not prepared. They had no papers. We had sent to them. If this chairman is in any other committee, please sack him. They need to remove him from any other committee. Disband this thing. You cannot come and ask somebody questions. Then you are the one again answering. Then you are the one giving an opinion. Then you give a conclusion and say what you have done to the farmers is very bad. Where did he get that information? The man who doesn't even know anything is taking the Wikipedia to start in finding out the definition of diatomite and, uh, and where it is found, whether it is found in Nakuru and Naivasha. That's all he knows. And that also from Wikipedia. So you can see, when a person is there, we have given them documents, he has not prepared, he starts taking his phone to Google, we have a big problem. We have a big problem. And that's why I'm saying there are masters behind that. He can step down and sue me. I am waiting for him out here. But I can tell you one thing, he'll be embarrassed because we shall bring out these proceedings and show him where he gave this gentleman a fair trial. It's rules of simple natural justice. You are going to accuse somebody, then allow him time to respond. Allow him time to answer. Give him a moment to get, tell you, give him an explanation. When he gives an explanation, he start telling us, oh, you are cheating us, you are cheating us, you are lying to us, you are lying to us. Oh, we are going to chase you away. Chase us! Rubbish. Let us have farmers. Let us have the farmers first. Then we... Well, over and above what Cleaver said, I need to put things in perspective. My name is Sam Nyaberi. I'm one of the uh, team members representing uh, Joe in uh, the interview, the sham interview that we have had or investigation that we have had with the committee, agriculture committee of the parliament. This is why I'm saying it's a sham. Number one, parliament is known to enact laws and procedure. The procedure that I have seen in that session is not anywhere provided for by the law. Number two, we cannot have a person prosecuting, a person being the judge, and a person being the executor of the whole proceedings. What do I mean by that? The chair and his team of parliament in the committee were the prosecutors of this investigation. They have sentenced our client without even the due process being followed, and they are executing 
that which they have also investigated upon. Now, where are the rules of procedure? The rules of procedure have been thrown into disarray. And whereas Parliament is the same body that is supposed to enact rules and procedure, this one, it trembled on its, on its own legs, on its own feet, because Karyuki presented his evidence, and the more he wanted to explain whatever he knows about SBL and the engagements with the NCBB and the KEBS, he was blocked from, uh, in, uh, from presenting that kind of information. The documentation, we had sent documents prior by, by mail, but when we got there, not a single page of a document has been presented. What does that mean or what does that show? The level and degree of preparedness or unpreparedness for that matter. So we are here, we are saying we have come out of the session, yes, but that session, allow me to say, it is a sham session. They are so biased. And that is what, if they come up with a decision that the, on the culpability of uh, our client, we have an impartial arbiter, which is a court of law. Thank you. I'm a farmer from Moranga. I happened to know about GPC from the National Series and Produce Board. I had gone to buy a fertilizer, the subsidized one. I went and bought. Then after that, I saw some GPC fertilizer which was being sold. And I asked them, how about this fertilizer? How is it? Somebody told me it's good, so I can try it. I actually bought two bags and went with them. I'm a farmer who plants vegetables, horticultural crops. I planted courgette for the first time. I harvested and the harvest was so good. Then after that, there was rain. I had decided, other than leaving this portion like that, I will plant maize in that nini. The results were excellent. Even people around my place were asking me, what have you used on this fertilizer, or on this field? I told them, it is a, an organic fertilizer. What I want to say, as farmers, if there is any farmer who is complaining, where is he? We came here, we thought we would be given a chance to say that we have used the GPC fertilizer, we were not given a chance. And that is good. Throughout the session, we waited. We were not given a chance. What I want to say as a farmer, we may destroy some companies which will be, can be of great help to, to farmers. These people ought to have done due diligence. What was found on the social media, they could have followed. And the one who said what he said could have come and even be there to give evidence of what he used. So please, let us not destroy our companies. Let us support those medium companies. That is all I have to say. I'm Charles Mishikengabo, and I'm a farmer from Moranga. Documentation, the samples, the analysis, the branding is a purely a scientific process done by KEPS. All our clients does is part the advice of KEPS. And that's why we were telling the, the chair that he is not liable. Even the name organic is a generic from KEPS. It's not him. So your client is... the, our client is supplying what KEPS allowed him to supply. And that is the right thing. Waenda washike wale waganga wa KEPS. Shadra.